As for the elderly, if they can maintain goodness, good quality, and morality, they will have advantages over the young. And in a country with a lot of older people, with such an advantage, the nation will move forward progressively. Royal Address of His Majesty, King Pumipon Adunyadet. In Thailand, some people experience inequality in healthcare, which is rooted in a lack of political, social, and economic power. Most of such people are women, children, the aged, displaced people, ethnic minorities, inmates, people with disabilities, people suffering from chronic illness and conditions. Vulnerable populations are defined as those at greater risk for poor health status and health care access, and those without adequate potential access to care. Improving access to health care and social services for older people in the community, a community-based model for social services, Khao Prangam Municipality, Lobri Province. These pictures might have been a similar sight if the people you are seeing now were small children. But here it is different. It is a school for adults, especially elderly persons. Pachimawai Witya School of a community in Khao Prangam Subdistrict, Mueang District, Lopburi Province, about 160 kilometers north of Bangkok. What are the older people doing at school? Today, they are learning about invention, which is one of several activities of the school. <music> Mr. Poon Sawat Tu Kong, Mayor, Tambon Khao Prangam Municipality, said, We have found that the number of elderly people in our society is rising. So, we have several social policies on improving the quality of life of older persons. We intend to care for all, 100% of them, all normal persons, homebound persons, and bedridden persons. There are several services that are provided in a thorough and equitable manner. Regarding the school for older persons, the school and its curriculums have been set up in response to the needs of the elderly. Every Wednesday, they have a class to learn many subjects depending on their liking and interest. The curriculum, as per their approval, covers such subjects as languages, handicraft, vocational training, and useful spending of free time. Colonel Wisse Jantaramad, President, Elders Club, Tambon Khao Prangam Municipality, said, Having a school for elder persons has created many turning points. Healthy elder persons can get out of their home to exercise, share knowledge, join group activities, feel more energetic, have flexibility, and have good memories, not being forgetful, have better physical and mental health, and be happy when joining group activities. This is one of the projects under the policy on elderly care in the communities of Khao Prangam Subdistrict Municipality, a local government in Thailand. According to Thailand statistics, 
there are 7,853 local government organizations across the country. In principle, each of them has the same policy on elderly care, but their practical aspects may be different, depending on social readiness and assembling capacity. This locality has realized and given importance to elderly care in various aspects, in collaboration with many other relevant agencies. Apart from mental care, this community has also given importance to physical health care. Today, they are holding a meeting to follow up and make conclusions on the performance of all sectors concerned. Attending the meeting are officials from the municipality's Public Health Division, Tambon Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital, and Village Health Volunteers, who represent the community in community health activities. The meeting also discusses the preparation for home visits to elderly patients, including those who are homebound and bedridden. All home visitors go out as a team to provide health education for health promotion and disease prevention, curative care, and rehabilitation for the patients at home in the community. There are several cases, depending on local economic and social factors or conditions. Today, this is an example. Anko Prayat, a 70-year-old bedridden patient, who had an accident injury with cerebrovascular symptoms. Previously, he was unable to walk, but now after having received additional care from the community health care team, he is able to help himself to a certain extent. That has relieved the burden of care from his relatives. Based on such practical approach, an area-based innovation of care for bedridden patients in the Khao Prat Ngam municipality has been developed, comprising a warning system, an emergency patient referral to the hospital through a telephone system given to the patient by the municipality with a button to press. Upon receiving the phone signal, a vehicle will be dispatched to take the patient to the hospital immediately and the system will have recorded illness data and location of the patient for use in making a rapid referral. Prayad and Potani Koitem, elders in the community, said, when there is an emergency, we can press the button calling for help. A vehicle will be dispatched to pick us up. We are lucky that our community has an emergency assistance system. We feel safe when we have someone to come and help us. Thailand has had a system of health care for older people through collaboration from the local level up to the national level. Many issues are dependent on the locality's factors or conditions and the national policy. Dr. Chu Chai San Chamni, Deputy Secretary General, NHSO, said, In taking care of the vulnerable group, we have to collaborate with local government organizations. At present, the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Public Health, and the National Health Security Office have set up local health security funds at the Bon Administrative Organizations and Municipality covering 99.99% of the population to support vulnerable persons, including the elderly, children, and others. However, the operating procedures have to be jointly developed further. As for Thailand, the elderly care has got many dimensions, 
And here is another historical record that shows local collaboration and recognition of the importance of care for elderly people who are valuable human resources.